Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do, do your daily vibes for oh, around the 29th. Okay, around the 29th. So, what do we have for around the 29th? You know, the timing is fluid, and not every reading is for you. So, what do we have around the 29th? Five of Swords. Now this is somebody that has a really big ego. Somebody's turning their back on them. Uh, this guy thinks that he has won. Uh, he is very pushy, very um, arrogant. We have a very arrogant individual here who thinks that they have won, has caused somebody to walk away. Obviously, somebody's turning their back on this person. This person doesn't seem to care. Okay, the one that is facing front and center doesn't seem to care. It's like, haha, I won. Look at me. I'm the victor here. So, um, this guy feels like he has won some sort of battle. This guy over here has chosen not to fight. I don't care. You win. I don't want to fight. I don't want to fight. I don't want to battle. I don't got nothing to prove. You win. So this guy, you know, he feels as though he's the victor, but I don't think he is. I don't think he is. I feel like he's got arrogance, ego issues. Um, now, this is a card of defeat. The Five of Swords is defeat. Somebody has decided to walk away from a bully. This is a bully right here. So I don't know. I'm supposed to move that. Maybe we'll get a card for that. Somebody has decided to walk away from a bully. Ooh, and this is a new beginning. The world card is a lesson has been learned. It's the end. It's the end of a journey. Learned, somebody's learned their lesson. Best thing to do is walk away. Now, this is an accomplishment, and this is leaving the past behind. It is. Somebody has made the decision to walk away and start a new life. This is uh, freedom, free from a uh, difficult situation. I mean, the Five of Swords is very difficult. It's been a constant battle, and this is freedom. Oh, God. Ten of Pentacles reversed. Now, this is a total loss. This is, uh... Well, it's a completion. This is a completion as well. So, a phase. Somebody's... Uh, something big, okay? The world is very big. It's 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 huge, okay? they've com This could be the end of a family legacy, okay? The end of a business, even a family business, or... You know, uh, something that was very prominent in one's life. Okay, something that was successful at one time. At one time it was successful. successful. But now we have a huge loss with the Ten of Pentacles reverse. This could be a massive debt, overspending, somebody was living beyond their means. This is like bad business. And this is fighting and this could be with a family okay the ten of pentacles could certainly be with a family or somebody that you started a business with could be with the people you work with or something like that but this is the end of a battle with the establishment and this could be the job or the family okay this is false impression somebody was uh Pretending they were stable, but they weren't. Things been going downhill for a while. This is losing it all. Somebody really has been struggling, too. And this is definitely losing it all. There's been a lot of fighting over money. Fighting over money. And it even could be family money. 
But this is this is definitely an end with these two tens. It's the end of the fight. I've decided to walk away. Somebody has decided to turn their back and walk away. This is also public recognition. So like, something could be publicized. Ooh, we have a very selfish individual here. Somebody that is power hungry. This is somebody that is power hungry. Somebody that is very forceful. Very much focused on their image. This is unhealthy. Giving up. Now this, this Queen of Wands in reversed is somebody may be dealing with an individual who is uh, weak. This person is getting weaker. They throw tantrums. They're very controlling. They have ego issues. They're overly proud, self-righteous. Uh, they gossip. They lie. They act revengeful. They manipulate. This is an individual who is melodramatic, and this is a completion, completion. So we have an individual who abused their power, okay? This is this is the counterpart to the King of Wands, right? In reversed? Or the Emperor in reversed, or whatever. This is, this is an individual who is power hungry, that is going to be experiencing a completion, and it's financial. This is financial loss. Okay, big ego here with these two cards. We have an individual that has a humongous ego, um, but they're about to learn a lesson because this is a lesson learned about status. There's going to be a status change as well. Definitely an image problem with these two cards. Somebody was pretending to be stable and secure and what it looked like was not what it was very focused on what their looks ooh we could be dealing with a leo okay we have leo here we have leo here and and now this is this is very much about ego this is a card of ego it really is. Ego, ego, ego. So ego is all over in this reading. We have five cards and three of them are ego. Well, we could say this one is too. So there's ego here that has gotten in the way of, of success. Okay. But it was there was some short-term success here with the Ten of Pentacles reversed. There was short-term success. Anyway, this is finding the strength to let go and we do have somebody here that is letting go oh death on the bottom so i'm not sure that something is that this is definitely a, a, a death of something okay with the world card and the strength and the well i said strength but the death card that's an ending death is a profound change life is about to change and this is a life lesson. Life is about to change for this individual whose ego and pride got in the way. Okay, life is about to change, just so you know. Anyway, this is financial loss. This is a big, huge loss. It doesn't have to be a financial loss. It could be loss of, uh, you know, there could be a change in the family legacy. Just saying. Uh, we have a very selfish individual here. I feel like it's a woman. I could be wrong. Could be a man um, that has uh, let their ego get in the way, and they're about to learn some sort of lesson. Okay, that phase of life is over. A lesson ha is causing their evolution. There's going to be a change of residence with these two cards. There is going to be a change of residence. Now. Death is destruction. It's a transition. It's an ending. It's a separation and a loss or a loss that leads to a new beginning. So we definitely have a new beginning here. Okay? But before the new beginning happens, there's going to be a great big loss. Okay? I'm telling you what.
okay? It's been a battle anyway. There's, if there's been some sort of battle, a power struggle, a big, big power struggle. Um, three of Cups. Now, Three of Cups is a celebration. It's uh, out having fun. You know, it's very emotional time as well. So this is a celebration, a gathering. They're good in this. I'm, I'm wondering if there's going to be, I hate to say this, but with the death card and the five of swords, if there's going to be a, a burial or a, mo a funeral. And I'm, I'm sorry, but that's, I have to say it. Three of swords on the bottom because I just, I need to. Okay. So, because this is like a celebration, you know. And it's an emotional celebration of some sort. And this is, I mean, the f <laughs> Queen of Pentacles. No, it doesn't have to be. A, and it could be mourning over, you know, celebrating. Feel, this could be even feeling relief. Okay? Relief that it's over. Somebody has chosen to walk away. Okay? And this could be relief. It could be. It could be. So, um... Could be finding new friends. This is the card of friendship. Now the Queen of Pentacles is she's got a golden huge opportunity in her hand. Stable, solid, secure. It's upright. Okay, this card is upright. So this Queen of Pentacles, she's holding on to her own. Okay, she's holding on to her value. She's holding on to her money. She's holding on to her stability. She's holding on to her security. This is a hard worker who has built herself up. She is very grounded, very down to earth, very laid back. Then we got this person over here who is a mess. This one is a mess, okay? The Queen of Wands in reverse. She's she's upset. She's she's malicious in reverse. And the ego is connected to this person. It is. There's been a, a struggle between these two people. And this could be another woman. Or another person. Okay? Because typically the Queen of Wands in a reading can represent another woman or another person. A third party. Um, now this is a lesson being learned by this person. This person may have taught them a lesson. I don't know. Somebody's been taught a lesson. Now, the Queen of Pentacles is in the upright. She is solid. She's integrity. She's real. That is reality right there. So she, this is a celebration. And now you notice I only got two cups here. The week, this somebody could be going to a celebration or they may be communicating with somebody. This person is stable. There now we have two of cups. One cup is covered, so it goes from, from you know somebody may end up at a celebration and they may meet somebody if you're single. If you, I mean I don't know where that's coming from, but you may, if you go to some sort of party or get together or whatnot, you could meet somebody and it could, you know, become a union. Okay, because now we got two cups there. This is manifestation. That is a, the Ace of Pentacles is a card of manifestation. So we have somebody that has manifested some sort of, uh, well, this is a union, which is interesting. I'm seeing it like that. But this person is turning their back on the establishment, perhaps, because the back is being turned on the money. This person has enough money. Has, well, has enough stability, doesn't need this money. Something is going on here. And this person's about to learn a lesson. And, and maybe it's not about money. It's about uh, taking what isn't yours. Now, this is a power struggle. There's been a struggle. There is. Somebody has walked away from an individual that is uh, malicious. Or they're about to. But I, I feel like this person right here that has a lot to offer has to be careful. Because if you see what's mirroring it, we got this five of swords looking at this person. You know, this person that has uh, pushed another person away. 
is looking at this Queen of Pentacles. It's like, oh, I'll take that. I'll take that. So I think that, you know, this person may not be aware that that they are being watched by an individual that is uh, may not be a very nice person, put it that way. Now this person may, may contact them via social media or may, uh, this person definitely been watching. And they may socialize, okay? They may socialize and want to uh, get into some sort of partnership with this Queen of Pentacles. This Queen of Pentacles appears to be stable. She has money. She's solid. She's secure. She's not really giving to anybody. She's not aware that somebody is watching her. Oh, the star. Now this doesn't, you know, it's interesting because I, what I want to say is this doesn't have to be bad because this person is walking away. You know, maybe this person said, just go. I don't want to be with you anymore. Something like that. This is, the star is a card of hope and wish, wish fulfillment, dreams coming true. It's help arriving after the tower falls and underneath it is the ten of pentacles reverse so after a big loss there's going to be help arriving this is something it's a dream come true it's a wish being granted this is this is a new purpose this is a renewal this is hope hoping there's a blessing this 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 uh breakdown okay this this ten of pentacles reverse this is a it's the end of a establishment okay there's a change in the home there's a change of residence somebody's moving obviously they're moving away they're going away they're walking away it's actually actually a blessing in disguise because that's what the star is there's a new beginning here okay with the death card we saw and the world card and this there's a new beginning here somebody's going to have to find their strength to to keep going to let go to let go of whoever this malicious person is that f tried to force them or force their way in or something like that. There's definitely a new beginning here. But this new beginning comes after some sort of heartbreak. It does. We have a separation or a loss that really, really hurts. We do. And it's coming up, okay? It's coming up. But this act, this loss is actually a blessing in disguise because it's bringing two people together. I know that's what this is. We have a major new beginning here. Somebody has completed a phase in their life. They've completed a life lesson. And this lesson has to deal with ego. And it has to do with acting with integrity. It has to do with uh, following your heart, wish fulfillment. It has to do with uh, uh, something about money, choosing money. I think we have an individual that chose money or they chose something that was superficial anyhow this is this is a card of this downfall which the ten of pentacles is is actually a blessing in disguise hmm. now there's the star is a card of heaven for me something to do with heaven um, there's help arriving there is him some sort of help arriving oh look at that four of wands 
So there's going to be a gathering. There's going to be a commitment or a commitment is stepping it up to the next level. I feel as though we have somebody that is very much focused on their job, focused on their own stability that is about to get into some sort of commitment. Somebody is watching and they're about to, I feel like they're about to arrive and I don't even need the chariot card. We have a major new beginning here. We have two people right here that are committing. Now there could be an engagement, an upcoming engagement or a wedding or a funeral even. I mean, I hate to say that, but. Somebody is going to need to find their strength to let go of their pride. To let go of the business or to let go of the money. And it feels like this person is turning their back on the money or the home. This is a card of healing and this is a card of healing. So there's some sort of healing that is going to happen. This cycle is over. We have a, we have an individual that was It almost feels like the the person that is being pushed away it was it was bad for a while. You know, they tried. They did everything they could to make it work. But I felt like this person, you know, was looking for something more. And that's why it wasn't working anyway. It wasn't working because whoever they were trying to force themselves onto. This is force. Was looking for something else. This person sees an opportunity for wish fulfillment. And I feel like they've made up their mind and they're there. This is an individual who is very brave. This person um, has a lot of courage. And I feel like the person that it there's a person that is coming forward that sees an opportunity and it feels like and you know, this is a manifestation. So it's like this person has manifested this person. Interesting. Ooh, Knight of Cups reversed. So the Knight of Cups reversed is, uh, you do got to be careful. You definitely got to be careful. You be careful what you wish for. Now this is wish. Okay. You really need to be careful for what you wish for because somebody may be coming in that you manifested, but you may not have had your wishes completely correct. Okay. Just got to be honest with you. With the Knight of Cups reversed, we have, uh, this is a heartbreaker. This is a womanizer. Uh, this is somebody that is unrealistic, that um, is manipulative. The Knight of Cups reversed. This could be somebody that sugarcoats situations. Um, there also could be some tears that are shed coming up with the Knight of Cups reversed. Um, there could be some emotional turmoil here and I feel like there is going to be some emotional turmoil because there's going to be some tears because I, this is a very interesting reading because we have a lot of ups and downs. I feel like we have a loss that really hurts that is going to bring about some tears, but this loss leads to some unexpected help arriving. Okay. Um, there's, this could even be somebody that is out to hurt another person. Okay. This could be somebody that is very malicious, which I saw earlier that is out to hurt another person and causes the tower moment. So this is somebody that is a gossip or is intending to hurt somebody. Okay. So this is a, um, what do you call this person? Um, 
up to no good, put it that way. Okay. We have a person that's up to no good. Maybe they've they've made some plans, you know, they've been given orders or they've made some plans to hurt another person. I'm not trying to scare anybody, but that's what just came to my mind. So you gotta be careful. Okay, somebody is, is it could be a stalker here, okay, that is up to no good and but unexpected help is arriving and they're gonna they're gonna uh I don't know what they're going to do, but this is unexpected help arriving. Now, this Knight of Cups reversed is... We had distraught. And this is this can be narcissism. So something is going on here. I feel like we have... Um, A mentally dysfunctional individual that is financially unstable, that is, uh, I feel like it's some sort of scheme, and I know I'm changing this up, but I feel like there's some sort of scheme. But I feel like there's also some divine protection here. I think there is. I think there's some sort of protection, because this is protection. And that would be divine. Divine. There is some sort of divine protection here. I also feel like we have an independent person that's not going to be single much longer. There is somebody coming in that they don't expect. Um, I feel like we also have I have one person in this scenario because we do have a third party situation. It's it's pretty darn clear. Um, we have one person in this scenario that is. I feel like that person is going down. They're being pushed away. Nine of Pentacles. I mean, this Nine of Pentacles is enjoying the enjoying the good life, very self sufficient, hard worker, stable, secure. Uh, we have this person could be a business owner. The very, very much enjoying life, not looking, not looking for a relationship. So we definitely have an individual that is focused on their business, focused on their job, not looking for a relationship. But perhaps it's time. Okay, maybe it's the end of being alone. Anyhow, um, there is somebody that is coming in to help another person heal from an abusive situation that they were probably forced to walk away from. We have the Ace of Swords on the bottom, which is a yes. Okay, it's communication coming in. Uh, it's some sort of uh, taking a new approach, a new opportunity. This is a new idea, a new approach, a new beginning. There's going to be this is this is some sort of communication that is going to come in. And I feel like it's it, there's communication that is going to come in, and I think it's it, it, what it does. It starts out as hurtful communication. I do. I just I feel like it starts out as hurtful communication, but it ends with happiness, which is interesting because this is happiness. We have a very uh, worthy individual here that is uh, not even looking, not even looking. Focusing on their money, focusing on their business, not looking for a relationship, but they're going to be receiving communication from somebody that could end up in, in an engagement, end up in marriage. If you're in a coupled relationship, I would say that, you're, that your relationship is stepping it up to the next level, okay? I think that things, you know, there's happiness is coming with this Four of Wands, for some of you, this is about independence. It's about finding the strength to let go and walk away from this abuser. Because this is abuse. 
It is.